think that's why I'm so uh, gung ho on this plastic thing is because it's a it's a symbol of the wrong direction that we're taking it as a society as a whole. What is the promise of civilization? You know, Descartes said there was such a thing as a social contract that we give up our individual liberties to the society as a whole because it can liberate us greater than we could do by ourselves. Is that still the case? Is it really? Are we getting uh, the bang for the buck out of our society and our social institutions? That are we that we give up our 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 anarchistic tendencies for? We're caught in the trade winds of our time. We can't secede from society, but we have to uh, plant the seed of the future in the present. Pull it in with the winch. Pretty impressive, isn't it? What a joke. <laughs> oh, oh. Isn't too clear when you see it underwater, but it's a lot more obvious when you get all the colors out here. This is made of so many fucking pieces of net. Well, that's what happens. Different ones. It just collects. Like one, one net just starts collecting others. It's like a tumbleweed. Yeah, look how many there's countless different kinds of rope in there. Yeah. No, there's a toothbrush hiding it. Yeah, we saw that toothbrush out in the water. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And so right now, if if we stopped if we stopped using plastics or if we if we controlled the runoff of plastics into the ocean, the amount of plastic that's in the ocean now, there's no way we can clean it up. No. But is there a way that the ocean can can process it? And, and uh, you saw it in the ghost net. You saw the toothbrush, plastic tarp, strapping, all these things woven together. She pulls those over to these centers. And then when storms hit, our islands and beaches are like sieves in a comb, combing it out of the ocean. So she'll eventually spit it out. But like I say, she can't spit it all out if we don't stop putting it in. Ocean cannot handle all this stuff. What, what can she do? Watch out. for the last time and now we're gonna pull in that's it hit it we're in hawaii got off the boat finally kissed our sea legs goodbye and uh, now we can just relax down here on the uh, world famous green sands beaches paradise look at this it's everything we've been seeing the whole time why don't we walk down a little like, how far can you go from people and not have to, like, be wading through their shit? I guess the moon? I'm really about to have, like, a, a whole crying Indian moment here. Can you even imagine cleaning this up? Every little piece that you see here is fucking plastic. What we're looking at right now uh, may look worse than what we've seen in the gyre. Um, but really, right now, this is... This is as good as it gets. This is the best point. Right now, we could grab this shit and take it. While it's still in one piece, and haul it fucking somewhere, who knows. But uh, in about another hour or so, water's coming in right now. This is all going back out. I mean, if we've basically ruined the ocean, what chance do we have with fucking land? I'm a professor of biology at the University of Missouri in Columbia. 
most of what we know, with a few exceptions, come from studies of animals, rats, mice, laboratory experiments. And what we've seen in those studies is that there's brain damage and the animals exposed to very low amounts of, say, bisphenol A show attention deficit disorder, hyperactivity, and neurochemical changes that are associated with ADHD in humans. That is a decrease in the neurotransmitter dopamine, which is also implicated in uh, causing Parkinson's disease. So we have neurochemical changes, brain changes, hyperaggression. The other thing we see is the entire male reproductive system is abnormal. And that's very easy to understand because this is an estrogen, and estrogens during development are known to lead to abnormalities in the male reproductive system. In the male, it also causes prostate cancer. That is expressed later in life. In females, the interesting thing about this chemical is it causes chromosomal damage in the eggs in a female's ovaries. And in, it's implicated in miscarriage in animal studies. And there is actually a human study in Japan where women with elevated levels of bisphenol A were the women who were repeatedly miscarrying, never able to have a successful pregnancy. And so the animal data and the human data are identical. The other thing bisphenol A causes in animals is polycystic ovarian disease called PCOS and uterine fibroids, the major source of infertility and hysterectomy in women. And then finally, everybody knows there's an obesity epidemic. This chemical causes obesity when you're exposed to it during an early life and it leads to type 2 diabetes. And um, the final one that women are, of course, concerned with, when you're exposed to this during the period when the breast tissue is differentiating, later on in life, it causes breast cancer. You basically just listed most of the major public health kind of problems in the United States. 30 years ago, diabetes, type 2 diabetes, was called adult onset diabetes. Mm -hmm. It's now occurring in five-year-olds. That had never happened before. And if you look at the incidence of diabetes and the production of bisphenol A, they parallel each other identically. One of the other things to emphasize is we are most concerned about these chemicals because if you disturb development of a baby, the consequences of that are forever. Yeah. One of the things that we found out in the Vioxx scandal, mm -hmm. that it took a whistleblower from within the FDA to come out and say, the FDA has all of the evidence uh, that Vioxx is killing people. But this, isn't, this is according to the FDA regulator who turned in the yeah. FDA, essentially. He said, this is an agency that once they make a decision, they do not want the public to think that they make wrong decisions. And so what their strategy is, is to try to deny that they would ever make a mistake, even at the expense of a major public health disaster. This is an agency that doesn't acknowledge error. So there you have it, a four-part video, because I had to break it up into four parts because it was so long, uh, about the great Pacific garbage dump. Uh, we should certainly start today, since it's not to recycle our plastics, can't live without it. So please make an attempt to do that and help save our planet and the oceans. Have a great day.